Now, when you look at some of the challenges facing us in this country, our dear nation, Ghana, security would always be in top five, especially when you consider all the elements worrying us as Ghanaians in our Afrobarometer surveys. Now, in recent times, the spate of kidnappings, murders, broad daylight robberies, and even attacks on mobile um, money vendors just tells us that these challenges or the security challenge in this country must be curbed ASAP. Now, part of the reason why this Thursday, Media General is actually putting up and cooking up something that you must be a part of where stakeholders and um, governance analysts will come together to diagnose our challenges and proffer solutions to the biggest, if I can put it that way, one of the biggest issues we have in this country, security. Now, there's a video that I want you to see before we talk to my boss this morning. Let's take a look. A home is a place where you should feel safe, a place void of fear or cause of anxiety. Considering recent events, can Ghana be described as a home to 31 million Ghanaians? What are we doing wrong and how can we make it better and safer? TV3 and 3FM 92.7 present the Thought Leadership Forum, examining security in Ghana. Options for action, a gathering of experts and analysts looking to determine the issues with security in Ghana and what the solutions may be. Make a date with us on Thursday, 12 August 2021 at the Executive Theatre at the Sawet Premises. Time, 10 a.m. to 12 noon. The TV3 and 3FM Thought Leadership Forum, examining security in Ghana. Options for action. Michael Oti AJ is our acting general manager, news and um, digital. I got that correct, yeah? Yes, right here at Media General. And he's championing this cause this Thursday. Good morning, boss. Good morning, boss. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? I'm very well. I know we, we haven't Hi, eaten yet. Thank you. Yeah. So this one has to be real yeah. quick so that we can get to it. Yeah. Am I part of it this morning? Yes, You're you are. promising on national TV. <laughs> You're watching. Michael, so tell me, there's something very interesting happening in our mm -hmm. leadership forum on Thursday. And I see that we are dwelling on security yeah. for this very one. Is it what's been happening recently that's informing this decision? Or like, exactly what has gone into into this one? I think largely. Um, so you find that in, in recent months, and you can stretch it back to a year or so, there's been a lot of issues relating to whether you feel safe enough in Accra, whether you feel safe when you're driving at night, whether you feel safe when you're home, or whether you feel like the police is your truly your, your friend, friend yeah. or uh, is the one potentially that could harm you. I think we've put all this together and come up with the idea that there needs to be a larger conversation that needs to be had about our security as a nation. But this is also security that then effectively affects you as a person, affects mm. me as a person, mm. affects the guy who is on the streets. Um, it's also uh, to spring up issues at the policy level relating to how we can do this. So um, largely as a, as a general strategy, media general holds a number of thought leadership issues. So we do some in sports. We had a great one with 3FM and, yeah. and, and TV3. On, on Hooliganism. Uh, yes. Yeah. And then we had one with um, the unfortunate criminalization of just the thought that somebody is a prost it's a it's a witch, sorry. Mm -hmm. Now but we think security is such an is such a significant issue. So to give you an idea, only two days ago the police said that they they killed three suspected armed robbers yeah, in Shiashi yeah. in broad daylight yeah. with people watching yeah. and the rest. We remember the daring almost movie like uh you know uh, or drug killings no the, the, the one that happened in kolibu yeah where a bullion van was yeah. attacked and yeah. then we, everybody went on and on about how bullion vans were and that sort of thing and then all of a sudden we keep hearing that you know somebody has been killed by their husband somebody has been killed yeah. by that yeah so we, we feel that it's a conversation to be had right. and the panelists that we've put together sort of addresses the issues from a mm. from a multiple angle so you will have um Kofi Abuchi is the dean of um, he's a dean of the UPSA law school he will speak to uh, the law practice and security in mm. Ghana so mm. how does the law protect you and what are your options mm. largely ACP Kosifori is acting uh, public police. affairs, yes, mm. and he will do the, just an overview of the current security situation. But I think specifically also because of his public affairs background, to just try to reassure us as Ghanaians, right. what are your options for police brutalities for redress? 
the police image and how it feeds into fighting crime. Mm -hmm. Then you've got um, a conversation as well on preventing and combating violent extremism and everything. Now, with the issues happening in Burkina Faso, the, the violence, the, the extremist-based activities, we already had the uh, information minister say recently that there have been cases of attempts to recruit Ghanaians yes, into yes, extremism. Yes. So there's somebody who will speak to that particular subject. Okay. And then you all, we also speak to uh, civil military relationships right. by one of our experts. And this off the back of a dry is even more important. Mm. It's how do we deal with this military force? Clearly very important in keeping us safe, but also sometimes unnecessary violence mm. in the attempt to do it. Mm. And then um, we have an ex, a current MP, Peter Tobu, who is an ex MP, who is an MP, who will speak to reforming Ghana's security system, the parliamentary role. My thinking is that there will be a lot of conversation that springs up from there. How do you take care of your personal security? How do you secure your homes against armed robbers? How do you keep the roads safe? How do you have confidence in the system? Would you as an individual have confidence in the police if they can't deal with little things like okay. ensuring who doesn't cross the yeah, red light yeah. and, and which who in a, a V8 doesn't turn on the side of the walk? So it will be a broad-based conversation right. that will be hosted by Jifa right, Bampo. Right. Oh, hosted by Jifa Bampo. Yes. Great, great. And um, day and time? I know it's this Thursday. It's on Thursday. Um, it will happen at the Executive Theatre. It will start at 10 a.m. and proper 10 a.m. Um, when we say 10 a.m. here, we, we say mean 10 a.m. Yeah. In, in addition to the uh, guest list that I spoke about, mm -hmm. there are also a number of experts who will be in the, in the audience and speak to the issues as they come along. The format is for each one to have a, a word on the specific areas and then we turn it into a conversation. Right. Now we'll keep this, uh, we'll keep the options to follow this as wide as possible. So okay. it's live on TV3, right. it's live on 3FM, it's live on the Facebook page of TV3, uh, Ghana on Facebook on 3FM 927, but also because we know that it's a working period and all that, you can get to watch the video afterwards if you're not able to. Okay. But you can also follow updates on our various social media pages. Mm -hmm. There will be quote cards, there will be except video excepts, and there is generally wall-to-wall -wall coverage that keeps you properly informed and hopefully allows you okay. and policymakers to make the right mm -hmm. security decisions. Now, can you attend in person? You can attend in person. It's by invitation. Okay. We are trying to stick, make sure that we don't cram the executive theater. theater. We will be as responsible as we can be so that people can keep a bit of distance, mask wearing. Of course. There will Observing be all the, all the protocols observed. You can wash your hands before. Right. You would have to wash your hands before. We will right. check temperatures and everything. Mm. Basically, we'll try to have a conversation within the safest environment possible okay. for everyone. Great. So at the end of the day, Michael, what are we seeking to achieve? With after this, after that event, when I'm walking home Thursday evening, what would be my feeling? We are walking home Thursday. We, we wonder when you're walking home Thursday evening, you're driving home, you are a bit more conscious. You're a bit more conscious on what to look out for. You're a bit more conscious on if somebody crossed you illegally, who do you go to? You're a bit more conscious about the willingness of the police to help you. You're a bit more conscious about your right as an individual, right. especially with what Kofi, Kofi Abochi will speak, that we want, for instance, the MP to wake up the following day and become a bit more conscious about your concerns as a security person. Right. So generally, we want to empower everybody, mm -hmm. but above all, we want to put a bit more pressure in ensuring that those responsible for keeping us safe do their job as required. Fantastic. So empowering the citizenry, stakeholders and governance, experts and analysts, all of us all together so that we can move our country forward. This Thursday, 10 a.m., Executive Theatre right here, Media General. Thank you so very much, Michael. Please make sure that you are a part of that one. We'll be streaming live also so you yeah. can catch it everywhere you are on your smartphone. This is still TV3 New Day. We'll be back with some entertainment.